In the year 1998, Nidish Katra joined the IMT, Ghazi Abbott in order to pursue an MBA course. There he befriended Gaurav Gupta, Bharat Diwakar, and Bharti Yadav, daughter of Sri D. P. Yadav, member of parliament and an industrialist. The course finished in the year 2000 where after Nidish Katra took a job with Reliance General Insurance in Delhi itself as his father was ill. Bharti continued to reside in the national capital region as well. In around January, 2001, with passage of time the friendship of this young couple blossomed into a love affair. This relationship was known to Bharti's family members and relatives including her sister Bana Yadav, mother Umlesh Yadav, brother Vikas Yadav, cousin brother Vishal Yadav etc. It was the case of prosecution case that this relationship was not palatable to Vikas and Vishal Yadav and that they were opposed to it. This aversion was the motive for the abduction and murder of Nidish Katra. An alliance was fixed of Shivani Gar, a childhood friend of Bharti, with one Amit Arora, and they got engaged on June 4, 2001. Their marriage was fixed on the night of February 16, 2002. To this wedding, Shivani Gar invited the family of Bharti Yadav as well as the family of Nidish Katra. Nidish Katra came there with his friend and Bharti was also there. Both danced together in Sanjeet ceremony and got pictures clicked at the time of wedding. Between midnight and 12.30 am, Nidish Katra was spotted with the Vikas Yadav, Vishal Yadav and Sukhdaf Yadav in a Tata Safari bearing Punjab registration no PB07H0085 outside the venue by security guards. Thereafter he was not seen alive. In the morning of February 17, 2002, a badly burnt dead body was lying on the Shikharpa Road near Kurja. A post-mortem was conducted on the corpse on 18 February 2002 in which it was opined that the death was caused due to coma as a result of anti-mortem head injury with post-mortem burn. The doctor had observed a fracture injury about 7 cms above the left eyebrow of the dead body. SMT Nilam Katra identified the body as that of her son, Nidish Katra by examining his left palm which was not burnt and comparing it with her own hand, as Nidish Katra had unusually small hands. On April 23, 2002, Madhya Pradesh police arrested Yadav brothers. Bharti Yadav was continuously summoned in the court as a key witness but responded only after three years of notice and a final warrant. On May 30, 2008, the court pronounced lifetime imprisonment for Vikas and Vishal Yadav on the grounds of honor killing. On February 6, 2015, Delhi HC reviewed the case and awarded 30-year imprisonment to the Yadav brothers without remission. In October 2015, Mother Neelam Katra's appeal for the death sentence for Yadav brothers was rejected by the SC. On October 3, 2016, the SC upheld the conviction of Yadav brothers for 25 years. The third accused gangster Sukhdaf Pehlwan, arrested in 2005, has got a 20-year jail term. In the entire case, what was most surprising was Bharti Yadav's position. The night when Nidish was abducted was the last time anybody saw Bharti in India. After repeated summons from the court for her statement, she finally responded when in danger of being declared a proclaimed offender. And denied any close relationship with Nidish Katra. At the end of 2009, Bharti Yadav tied the knot in Delhi. The wedding was attended by nearly 4,000 people including high-profile politicians. But what caught the attention was the presence of her brother Vikas, escorted by two plain-clothes armed men. He was out on parole for 10 hours to attend the wedding. Nidish's mother, Neelam Katra, who fought a lonely battle which seemed beyond her strength, expressed disappointment on one account that the boy who believed in fighting for justice and standing with the truth at all costs fell in love with a weak woman like Barty, who betrayed him in his death. This case was dramatized on the episodic television show Crime Patrol which was telecast on Sony Entertainment Television.